COVID-19 PAPR PPE donning and doffing procedure for use by the provider with the highest risk during aerosol generating procedures. Gather and stage supplies. Do not wear any makeup while using the PAPR to prevent soiling the collar of the head cover. Obtain all necessary PPEs and stage the supplies on a clean surface. The following is a list of the PPE in the sequence they are intended for donning. 3M VersaFlow Powered Air Purifying Respirator or PAPR, Surgical Gown, Gloves, Disinfectant Wipes. Obtain the PAPR device and test for functionality. Remove the fan assembly from the PAPR bag and insert the battery at the bottom part of the device. Remove the protective covering from the airflow port located at the top of the device and place the cover back in the bag. Remove the accessory Ziploc bag from the storage pouch located in the center of the bag and retrieve the airflow meter. Attach the meter to the airflow port. Depress the blue on-off button located at the top of the device until the fan motor is engaged. The device will proceed through a startup phase. The device will beep and vibrate. The device will also display the battery charge level. Ensure the battery is fully charged. Ensure that the device is set to the lowest airflow setting. Watch the orange ball in the airflow meter and ensure that it floats at or above the F mark on the meter. If the orange ball does not float at or above the F mark, a different PAPR must be used as the device is not achieving proper airflow. Remove the airflow meter off the port and retrieve the air hose from the bag. Attach the hose to the airflow port and then attach the airflow meter to the hose. Ensure that the orange ball floats at or above the F mark in the meter. This will ensure that the hose is not damaged or obstructed. Remove the flow meter from the hose and retrieve the head cover from the bag. Attach the hose to the head cover to make ready for donning. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand gel or soap and water. With assistance from a buddy, don the device belt with fan assembly. Place the PAPR head cover on and ensure the harness is securely positioned around the forehead and the back of the head. The shroud attached to the head cover should be worn under the gown specified in the next step. The outer shroud has ties on each side of the caregiver's body. Ensure that the ties are tied securely, but loose enough to allow movement. Ensure the proper airflow is delivered through the head cover. The head cover has a dial at the back of the device. Adjust the airflow to ensure proper comfort for the wearer. If fogging occurs, increase fan speed on PAPR, confirm the hose is connected, and has no kinks, leaks, or obstructions. Don the surgical or reusable gown. If the procedure you are performing requires a sterile field, don according to protocol. The buddy should fasten the gown in a manner that allows the air hose to move freely. The gown should fully cover torso from neck to knees, arms to end of wrist, and wrap around the back. Don gloves. Gloves should not be too tight or too loose. Tight gloves could potentially tear, and loose gloves will hinder your ability to perform certain patient care tasks and may come loose. Ensure that the cuff of the glove is over the cuff of the gown. You may now enter the patient's room or patient care area. Transmission-based precautions must be applied in conjunction with standard precautions. Doffing procedure. Doff the gown. The buddy should perform hand hygiene and don gloves. Turn your back to the buddy and ask him or her to unfasten the gown. The buddy should only touch the outside of the gown during assistance with doffing. Grab gown at the chest and pull forward. Do not bunch or bundle the gown during doffing. Place the gown into a waste container.
doff gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique, and discard in a waste container. Perform hand hygiene, and don new gloves. The buddy should assist with untying the ties of the shroud. And once completed, turn your back to the buddy and ask him or her to hold the blower assembly. Once the buddy has held onto the blower assembly, unbuckle the belt and lean slightly forward and remove the head cover by pulling the loop at the top of the device and lifting up and away from the head. Hand the head cover to the buddy while holding the blower assembly with one hand, the buddy should grab the head cover from the caregiver. The device should remain on during this process. The buddy should place the contaminated shroud and hood on a table and turn off the blower assembly. The caregiver should remove their gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique, and perform hand hygiene. The buddy should now begin decontaminating the papper. Disinfection of the papper components should occur immediately after the papper is used, using hospital approved disinfectant wipes in the following order. Wipe the exterior of the head cover and visor. Discard that wipe. Wipe the exterior of the shroud. Wipe the exterior of the hose beginning at the back of the hood and working down to the blower assembly. Discard the wipe. Wipe the exterior of the blower assembly and blower assembly belt. Discard that wipe. Doff gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique. Perform hand hygiene. and don a new, clean set of gloves. Disinfect the interior head suspension and interior visor of the papper. Discard the wipe. Remove your gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique, and perform hand hygiene. Disconnect the hose from the blower assembly. Place the protective cover on the airflow port of the blower assembly. Disconnect the battery from the blower assembly and place it back on the charger to charge. Return components to PAPR bag and store bag in a clean surface. In the event that you need to care for multiple suspect or confirmed COVID patients, the following procedure should be observed. Doff the gown and gloves. The buddy should perform hand hygiene and don clean gloves. Turn your back to the buddy and ask him or her to unfasten the gown. The buddy should only touch the exterior of the gown during doffing. Grab at your chest and pull forward. Do not bunch or twist the gown and discard into a waste container. Doff gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique. The buddy should perform hand hygiene and don new clean gloves. The buddy should disinfect the outer portion of the papper in the following order. Wipe the exterior head cover and visor. Discard wipe. Wipe the exterior of the hose starting at the back of the hood and working down to the blower assembly. The buddy should now doff gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique. 
perform hand hygiene, and obtain all necessary PPE to care for the next patient. For donning PPE, the healthcare worker should perform hand hygiene. Don the surgical or reusable gown. The buddy should assist in fastening the gown in a manner that allows the air hose to move freely. The gown should fully cover the torso from neck to knees, arms to end of wrists, and wrap around the back. Don gloves, ensuring that the cuff of the glove covers the cuff of the gown. You are now ready to care for the next patient.